I had a dollar for every time a woman came on this show named Sarah, I probably, I would have a couple of dollars. I feel like I would have over, over $20. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Talk Wild, your girl Tay here. And today I'm bringing you another episode of Naked and Afraid Foreign Exchange. Okay, we're on episode two, uh, dropped in Croatia. Uh, the Croatian force in Europe, okay? So, the survivalists can encounter bears, wolves, uh, poisonous plants, cold nights, and cold rain, okay? So, the first survivalist we have is Sarah. She is an actress and a mom. Uh, she wants to try an adventure, and uh, she thinks it will be legendary. <laughs> she said, I, I always dreamed of being on this uh, adventure. So, here we are. She likes adventures. Pick the right one, sweetie. I tell you that, okay. Uh, next up, we have Robin. Uh, he is a primitive survival instructor and wants to test his skills, okay. So Sarah is starting off with a PSR of a 6.8, and her item she brought was an axe. And Robin, his PSR is starting off with an 8.0, and his item was cowhide. He brought cowhide. He said we, it could keep him warm and all of that. But we'll get to that in a second, okay? The freaking cow hide, okay? Uh, they were given a pot. Day one, they hit out to find water and a place to camp. Uh, they used the cow hide to help walk over poisonous plants. Robin found some type of edible plants. Uh, they made a couple of stops on the way because Robin, you know, was examining a lot of plants and a lot of things. Uh, they walked for over five hours and they finally find a spot to set up camp near a stream. Robin starts working on the fire because they're losing sunlight. Robin is, you know, using the stick method to try to start the fire. Uh, he's been working on it for over two hours at this point, but he finally gets an ember. And, you know, they finally have fire for tonight. Uh, they don't have a shelter, so they're sleeping on the ground with the cow hide. Uh, night one, they woke up because they, you know, had to keep the fire going, okay? So day two, Sarah gets some water to boil. They decide to work on building a shelter um, in a shelter roof. Uh, Robin switches the campsite because he found an area that was flatter to build on. Uh, they build a teepee-like shelter and lay grass over the top uh, for the roof. The area is infested with flies and like uh, some other types of buggies, mosquitoes and stuff. But Robin said he isn't. Robin said he isn't too worried about them. Sarah has a bunch of nettle splinters in her feet, so uh, she's concerned about that. And around this time, she's like, "These things are stabbing me in my feet, and it's starting to cause an issue." Uh, she's getting emotional because she's weak, and you know her feet is hurting. Robin, you know, makes her some cowhide high shoes, which was really nice of him because he's seen how bad she was suffering. Uh, and they eat some of the nettles for dinner. <laughs> uh, night two, a wild war was around their shelter. Then it goes by this way, blah, blah, blah. Day three, they decide to work on um, insulating the shelter. Sarah's feet are cold and blue. Robin finds some raspberries and they eat some of those. Uh, they set up a couple of traps for some food. The stick and rock method where you lay the rock on the stick and if it comes by and trips the stick, the rock will fall and all that. Y'all know that. Y'all know that. Day four, they're still setting up traps and Robin accidentally lets the rock hit Sarah in her face, but it wasn't it wasn't that bad. Um, it starts to rain and their shelter is leaking and they start putting more leaves and ferns over the shelter. Uh, night four, the cow hide is wet at this point. Um, so, you know, they can't use it as a blanket. Sarah is crying and she is hurting all over her body and she's tired. Uh, they only slept for one hour that night. Day five, they uh, work on the shelter, adding more leaves and branches. Uh, night five, the wind is blowing, it's cold, it's raining, the cow hide is still wet and it hasn't dried out. Day six, the temperature has dropped and it's now colder during the day now. Robin goes to get firewood. Sarah stays in camp because she's exhausted at this point, you know. Uh, Sarah decided to tap out on day six. 
But then she decides to stay and try to finish the challenge. I commend her for staying. I'm glad she said, girl, you wanted this adventure? This is the adventure that you got. I'm, but I'm glad that she didn't give up, you know. Uh, so, throughout the next couple of days, they are eating the berries and working on, you know, staying warm. Uh, we skip to day 15. Robin finds some edible uh, beech and maple tree bark. And he grinds the bark up and makes um, them into, like, flat, a flat pancake. Sarah eats some, you know, she starts to feel a little better. Day 20, they pick a lot of raspberry for, raspberries for their extraction. Hike, day 21, hike three miles. To the extraction site, they are losing their sense of direction. Sarah is having a bad uh, feeling that they're walking in the wrong direction. And, you know, they finally find the ridge and walk up to the peak for extraction, and they are saved, okay? So, Robin lost 22 pounds, and his PSR went from an 8.0 to an 8.5. Sarah uh, lost 15 pounds, and her PSR went from a 6.8 to a 7.2. This episode was okay. I enjoyed them, actually. They were very delightful. <laughs> Foreign exchange, using, that's not a foreign word, but you know, I don't use that in my very vocabulary often. So, you know, I I think I really enjoyed them. I, I like, if I had a dollar for every time a woman came on this show named Sarah, I probably, I would have a couple of dollars. I feel like I would have over, over $20. <laughs> I should look into that. <laughs> But follow me on social media at Let's Talk Wild. Uh, I'll throw up my cash app if you would like to donate. I'll also throw up my WordPress blog if you would like to read, you know, more about me and getting more in depth with your host here, Tay. Uh, follow me, share this video. I'm really tired. I recorded like so many videos before this, but. <laughs> I'm ready to, you know, go to sleep for tonight. You guys, be safe. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.